Hi students, today we are going to start our first fiction topic uh, that is Sun Solo. But before we start uh, our topic, uh, it is important to discuss two major genres of literature. First is fiction and the other one is non-fiction. Now fiction, we need to understand what it is. Fiction is literature that is made up of or created from the author's imagination. And examples of fiction include short stories. They come under uh, fiction fantasy, mysteries, uh, realistic fiction, historical fiction, or science fiction. All these are the examples of fiction. So fiction is a literature that is made up or created from the author's imagination or author's point of view. It is made up. It is not real. Okay. Now, non-fiction is true or based on facts. Now, non-fiction includes newspaper articles, essays, documentary films, editorials, biographies, and autobiographies and these are all based on truth or based on facts. So hopefully you understand the difference between fiction and non-fiction. So before we start our story, uh, it's important to uh, have a look at the author. Uh, this is uh, Geraldine Negron. Uh, she was born on 6 June 1951 and she is a British children's novelist and she has written more than 100 and 70 books. She has written more uh, than 170 books, including Peter Pan and Scarlet, which was published in 2004. And her work has been uh, translated into 44 different languages. So she, her work is very famous and she is a very famous writer. She has received the Carnegie Medal twice and the Michael L. Prince Award, among others. So this was the introduction of the author. Now, here we have the introduction of the Sun Swallow. Uh, Sun Swallow is the title of uh, our story. Now this story takes place in the 13th century China. At that time people didn't have such sources of entertainment as they have today. Uh, at that time people used to sit with others and had more leisure time and a chit chat. Uh, but now you know people have uh, access to uh, many entertainment channels like we have television, we have internet, we have uh, social media, we have cinemas, theaters, parks. So we can entertain ourselves in different ways but at that time no such uh, entertainment channels or mediums were available. So most of the people they used to sit with each other and spend their free time. Now the story is setting a small town in China in 13th century. The characters uh, in this story uh, are Circus Master, Sun Swallow, uh, which is the title also for this uh, story. Sun Swallow is the main character or the hero. Mipeng, uh, another character, then children and crowd. Okay, So these are the different characters which are mentioned in the story. Uh, today we will just do the beginning of this uh, story. You know, every story has a beginning, the middle part and the ending. So we are going to do the uh, beginning of the story today. So we are going to read the first two paragraphs uh, and analyze them, okay? The, so first two paragraphs, they deal with how the story begins, what are the feelings of the different characters, and uh, where the story uh, takes place, okay? So here we have uh, text one, but uh, before we start our text, I want to show you a few pictures so that uh, you understand different uh, words which are described in the story. If you look at this picture, this shows uh, bewilderment. Okay, this picture shows bewilderment of someone. Be bewilderment, it refers to astonishment or surprise. Very mean, you are very vo watchful or vigilant. Suspicious, uh, we, we are suspicious when we are doubting about something, when we are doubtful, when we are, we are not sure about something. Soar mean to go high up in the sky. Okay, and then we have uh, the picture of applause. If you look at this picture, applause. Uh, when we appreciate someone by clapping our hands, enthralling uh, mean uh, capturing and holding one's attention. So this, when somebody is enthralled by something, it means that thing is so interesting that it has captivated that person's attention. Okay, then we have. Um, uh, the picture of acrobat. Acrobat is a person who shows different tricks, uh, skillful tricks in the circus. Demon, it refers to any evil character or evil creature. Then we have the picture of circus. 
okay circus hopefully you all are familiar with circus uh, where people are entertained uh, with different tricks of uh, acrobats uh, the animal riders and different animals okay so hopefully you understand these pictures and the vocabulary that we are going to uh, go through this text okay so here we have the first text uh, today we are going to read paragraph number one and two so first i'll read a uh, first paragraph so we are going to start the circus master called the children together and told them to run through the town shouting out that the circus had arrived gradually figures emerged very suspicious they stared at the acrobats with blank bewilderment as if to say what are they doing what is it for the conjurer was greeted with murmurs of demon when the trick riders appeared the audience reached for the young and made as if to take them safely home now here in this paragraph it starts with the circus master announces his arrival in the town so that people can come out of their houses so one thing that we do understand that the story begins with the circus master announcing his arrival as people are not familiar with the circus or such entertainments so the circus master had to announce his arrival in the small town of china so in this context he takes the help of children so he asked the children to shout in order to attract people from their houses so when the children shout loudly that the circus has arrived what do the people do people come out in complete bewilderment bewilderment in astonishment or surprise and they are quite alert because something is happening for the first time in the village now in the first paragraph different feelings of people are described like you might have seen or you might have noticed it is written in inverted commas what are they doing these are the thoughts going on in the minds of the people the crowd what are they doing what is it for for what purpose have they come so it shows the inquisitiveness or curiosity of the people now uh, behavior of the people if uh, first the feeling is uh, feelings of the people are shown and then the behavior of the people when they look at the acrobats or the conjurer okay or uh, the different people from the uh, circus when they look at them what are their expressions or what is their behavior they look or stared at them with surprise they they didn't talk to them they when they looked at the acrobats they just stared uh, they, they looked continuously without moving their um, uh, eyelids or without blinking their eyes they were in complete surprise and the conjurer was greeted with murmurs uh, the conjurer is actually the magician okay so the magician he was greeted with murmurs they were the people were not talking loudly they were calling him a kind of demon or evil or supernatural so that that's why they are murmuring they are not shouting they are not loud okay so this is the theme of the first paragraph hopefully you understand now second paragraph it starts with the circus master strode to the center of the square, square signaled for the riders to withdraw and raised his voice in an announcement now the circus master he walked quickly to the center of the square where, where the circus was held and he signaled he gave an indication for the rider uh, indication for the riders to withdraw like to stop their activities and he spoke loudly to make an announcement now see the announcement is written in inverted commas so here the words of the circus master uh, they are quoted so the direct speech is there so uh, that's why it is written in inverted commas and it ends up with an exclamation mark so here the uh, the circus master is uh, commanding for something or he is describing something very important the, he is making an important announcement so see what announcement does he make i bring you now sun i bring you now sun swallow who rides the wind who soars with the birds who can travel among the spirits of your ancestors so see this announcement is quite um, uh, you, you can say uh, quite catchy he wants to get the attention of the a crowd of the people uh, even when you listen to it for the first time when he says i bring you now sun swallow who rides the wind 
if somebody tells you that i'm going to introduce a boy who can ride the wind and who can soar with the birds so definitely we are also amazed so see very catchy words he has uh, chosen for his announcement and then uh, first thing he tells that the sun swallow he rides with the wind second one he soars with the birds and third uh, thing that he describes about the sun swallow is that he travels amongst the spirit of um, your ancestors okay still the crowd was silent but now it was another kind of silence stunned and watchful the crowd they didn't uh, speak they didn't say any anything they were in complete silence but now uh, in their silence was uh, added up a surprise and uh, vigilance now they were they were more vigilant the kite with sun swallow strapped to it was hurried into position the kite with sun swallow strapped now the sun swallow he was strapped or he was tied up with the kite and it was hurried into the it was quickly moved into the position and quickly the circus hands threw sun swallow into the air like a ball tossed to amuse a baby and like a baby the crowd was suddenly enthralled now quickly the circus hand the people who was working in circus they threw they tossed sun swallow into the air like a ball like you might have seen when we toss a ball to the baby the baby is immediately amused and happy so like a baby the crowd was suddenly excited when they saw uh, sun swallow being tossed into the air they did not grin they did not grin or break into applause grin being they did not laugh or they did not uh, show any other uh, expression their faces were serious as they looked up dozens of cap fell uh, fell to the ground unnoticed as you can see in this picture the sun swallow he is strapped he is tied up to the kite and he is flown into the sky you can see his picture over here see this one this is the sun swallow the name of the boy and the main character and he is thrown into the sky with the help of uh, this rope or ladder and there are many uh, men on the ground who are holding this rope so all the people they are amazed dozens of cap fell to the ground when they looked up in the sky okay so they even don't know that their caps had fallen down they are so uh, captivated by the sight and the circus master breathed a sigh of relief now why the circus master breathed a sigh of relief because it was not an easy task to send someone into the sky or into the air okay so that's why he was quite happy when everything was done properly so uh, for today we are going to uh, read till paragraph number 2 now here is the uh, brief explanation of paragraph number 2 what happens in paragraph number 2 announcement by the circus master to introduce the sun swallow what he announces he tells that he rides the winds he soars with the birds and he travels among the spirits of the ancestors of the crowd so in this way he captivates the attention of the uh, crowd then next he uh, it is explained uh, silence of the crowd how the crowd was silent Uh, though there was silence but they were stunned and watchful they were surprised and they were quite alert uh, what happens next the kite with sun swallow uh, tied to it uh, it was thrown into the sky and sun swallow was uh, tossed like a ball he was uh, thrown into the air like a ball okay now the crowd was astonished or surprised uh, they were surprised to see such an amazing sight they were in complete silence and uh, the circus master who was watching everything very vigilantly he got relaxed when sun swallow soared up in the sky as this was not an easy task so here is a quick overview of uh, of our today's lesson we started our uh, story that is a fiction small uh, it takes place in a small town in china uh, the name of the circus is jade circus okay sun swallow is the main character or the boy and he is the star of the circus and what happens to him he is strapped or tied up to a kite and he is flown up into the clouds and ropes are attached to the kite and held by the rope men on the ground and tomorrow we'll see what happens next in the story thank you so much